So this beautiful lady that we're going to meet, the first bird that we're going to bring on today, her name is Maya. She is an orange-breasted falcon. These falcons originally used to be found throughout Central and South America. Uh, now we only have them found in Guatemala, Belize. Down south, you'll see them in um, Chile, maybe Brazil, Costa Rica, and Panama. So we used to have populations in the thousands, and now we're down to only 52 individuals left in the wild in Belize. So they're critically endangered. Uh, they're looking, we have an estimated extinction year of 2032, which is literally right around the corner, right? Um, we are, as biologists, we're scrambling to try to figure out why they're declining. And some of the reasons that we've noted is human persecution. Like I was saying earlier, it plays a really big role on the, the, mortality, the mortality of raptors in Belize. So people assume that if this bird flies into their property and lands on a tree, that it's probably there to eat their chickens. And like I said, some raptors here do eat chickens. I love chicken, <laughs> right? So some birds do, um, but this bird in particular will not. So the orange-breasted falcon, they cannot take off from the ground to fly. So when they see what they want, their prey, they can fly about 65 miles an hour in a straight line. And then they note that they see their prey and they drop to 200 plus miles per hour. If they're successful and grab their prey, then they fly off to a branch and pluck. If they hit their prey and it drops, then they leave it. So they will not go down to the ground because once they're on the ground, they actually cannot take off. They have to climb and drop like a bat. So this bird would never eat chicken. Um, and that's one of the really important things for having Maya as an education bird is she gets to educate people about the species. So then they can start identifying them. They're, because they're very rare, there are certain areas in the country where you can go like national monuments and you'll see them there. So by putting the word out about Maya, maybe people will start recognizing them and they can educate each other as well. It's unfortunate when you get reports about them being shot because we do not have enough birds left in the country mm -hmm. to lose any more. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, like I said, the second rarest falcon in the world. Um, this bird, we've been breeding this bird in Wyoming for 21 years now. So this species, they breed them every year and then they bring them to Belize to release them. So four years ago, Maya came down and she was, we were trying to release her in the mountain pine ridge where they are found. And we noticed something was wrong with her. So when we took her to the vets, we noticed she was born with cataracts. So cataracts are usually found, you know, as you age. Um, but for Maya, she was born with them, which means that her brain has actually never developed eyesight. So we can't remove the cataract to help her. So unfortunately she will live with it for the rest of her life. She might have to have surgery later on when she's a bit older. Um, just to help with any kind of pain that she might get. But they're absolutely stunning birds. I just absolutely, I fell in love with this bird when I started working with them. The colors are like nothing else you'll ever see. <laughs> um, they have underneath their wings, if she gets to spread her wings out, it's kind of overcast today. So <laughs> not a lot of sun for her to go sunning, but they have nice polka dotted colors underneath their wings. They are like little fighter jets. They play, they're playful. When the babies are learning to fly, they're grabbing pine cones and they're dropping them and other ones are flying in to catch them. So they're like, you see her right now, she's trying to bite the camera. <laughs> like they're very playful animals. Um, some cool facts about falcons. As you can see in the camera, the little ball in her nose. So when a bird is traveling 200 miles an hour, they have to be able to breathe like normal. So their lungs don't blow up. Right. Um, so that ball depressurizes the air before it goes into her lungs. It's a special characteristic that falcons have because of their high speeds. Oh, look at her leg. Look at that long leg. You see those big feet. So she actually has the largest foot to body ratio of any raptor in the world. And she can use those feet to snatch prey or she can ball the fists up and punch it to knock it out. It's kind of cool.
I've seen it happen before and the feathers just went poof. <laughs> so I've seen it in the works. She's stunning. Yeah, we just started an educational campaign about help save Belize's wildlife. And this is our target species for that to try to raise awareness. And I guess another like couple reasons they might be declining human, uh, sorry, human persecution than habitat loss. So as we develop, they will stop using those areas. So they are very secretive when they are nesting. They nest on cliff faces. Um, and if you come and buy some property and build a beautiful big home and you're by a cliff face, they won't use that area anymore, right? Um, we actually just lost one of our really famous um, birds. They did not hatch their eggs this year. And we think it's because people are starting to fly drones in that area. And so the drones are causing a disturbance and the birds didn't feel comfortable enough to sit on their eggs and hatch them. So that's a big hit to the population as well. And also, you know, they're gonna have territory rivals and they're gonna fight. And sometimes the female will kill the male if he's not feeding her enough or in her babies. So, but the one thing we can try to stop at the Raptor Center is the shooting part like by taking her out and having people fall in love with this bird. How could you not fall in love with that face? She's gorgeous. <laughs> I work with her every day and I am still madly in love with her. <laughs> so right now we just have her on our platform because she does funny things when she's on our platform. She likes to bob around. And the reason she's bobbing is because Falcon's eyesight is like a piece of paper. They see in 2D until they start bobbing their head. And when they're doing that, they're taking a picture. So they're figuring out where the objects are. And then that creates a 3D image in their brain, which tells them where everything is. So she does this kind of stuff when she's on our platform by herself. She's just looking at the world. And it's very shadowy to her though. She's enjoying herself right now. I could just stare. We could just sit and stare at her all day long. I like love watching her eat because she gets, she has a lot of fun. We give her a quail and she plucks the whole thing. You see the pattern? 